We can't sit at home waiting for news about adoption. Oh, what? We're never going to find a kid. They go so quickly. It's this is you. What? You took too long again. Yeah, but it's difficult choosing a child from a photograph, isn't it? You want to get in there, kick the tyres a little bit. Yeah. I mean. Are you set on a girl? Girls tell you what they're feeling. They know how to ask for help. You just sit on the sofa hugging a cushion, sighing louder and louder until someone asks <laughs> you what's wrong. Boys are uncomplicated. You all right, then? Yeah. Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not exactly what you wanted. What is the one thing that we need to be able to take these kids? Money, experience, preparation. I know it's hard, it's a mammoth undertaking. And I should know I have brought up two happy, friendly, well-adjusted children out of four. Please, I'm having enough trouble getting my own family without keeping your one functioning too. OK, fine. We need to talk about childcare. I've been babysitting. It's not even called that when they're yours. Just don't let them be fussy eaters. My friend Clayton only ate toast until he was 12, and now he's really into S&M. Has this helped? Massively. You don't know what if it changes things? Whatever happens, we'll be messing things up together. We don't want a meet at this stage. It can jeopardise the adoption. Just pretend you're visiting the school and professional business. If we're being other people, should we do accents? I can do American. Show me. Well, hey, I did partner. I'm going to stop you right there. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> Huh. On your last visit to the school, did you happen to see a strange American woman bothering the children? What? No. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look, she says it's lovely to see you both and I'll be in touch soon. Don't do that! <laughs>